No arch. She's basically Larson pressing this thing. Canelo. Canelo, I love this video. This is why this is crazy. I asked you all what the most impressive lifts from a non-strength athlete were, and this is what you said. So just to be clear, a non-strength athlete would mean usually any sport outside of, you know, the typical strength ones like weightlifting, powerlifting, strongman, bodybuilding, and CrossFit. Um, I realize there are some fringe sports, but that's my line. So uh, hopefully you get it. But anyways, let's get right into the video here. So Saquon Barkley with the power clean of 405. I think that's like 182. It says here he's six foot 234, which is pretty damn big for a, a running back. Okay, so the craziest thing I think about this whole thing is there's no hook rip, at least to my knowledge. There's no way, I mean, it's highly unlikely that in these scenarios, in the football team weight room scenario, that these guys are using hook grips. Let's break down his technique a little bit here. Start position is awesome. You can see he's got longer arms, like really long arms, and uh, his hips are above his knees. Usually in the clean, the hip being above the knee is going to be more prominent. He's got good knee angle, meaning his knees aren't you know super far back like you would set up in a deadlift. And he also has like a decent amount of pressure in his toes. I think a lot of times guys set up, like I said, in the deadlift style of stance, and they're going to have everything behind the bar. Um, and in the clean, and more so in the snatch, you really want to be on top of the bar so that you can turn over later on in the pull. Let's pause it at the knee. So this, you know, this is position. <laughs> this, okay, look, this is just a, a freak of nature athlete. Okay, but this position is just obviously flawed. It's it's you know you can see how far away it is from his knees. Um, also, his back is starting to round a little bit. This is a guy who's just gripping and ripping, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I also think like you have to weigh all of these things out, like the danger to this movement. I don't really think it's that dangerous. I don't think it's that complex. Those are usually the arguments against teaching people to power clean in other sports. They're having fun, they're lifting big weights. But this this position, yeah, it's off, okay? What you would like to see is the bar in tighter to the shins and then um, less rounding here in the low back. So he makes contact a little bit low um, and you can see this is probably as far as he extends. Yeah, and, and here's the crazy thing. This bar is getting incredible amounts of height. You know, usually if people are more they, they are more dialed into dropping under the bar. You're going to see that bar get way less height and you're going to see a, someone like this slam to the bottom to catch a clean. But because he's so strong, because he's such a freak of nature, he's just throwing this bar up and catching it pretty high. I think he stops it right here. Yeah, he stops it at about parallel. You can see his front rack, things are sliding down out front. I think the limiting factor here is the the T spine and and obviously the front rack. I think you know if he's off a bit here and he doesn't have the the energy, the juice from the room, um, he's gonna miss this thing out front and drop it. This was by far the most called for lift. I asked everyone on Instagram what's the most impressive lift. If there were two hundred answers, which I'm sure we were in in that ballpark, I think honestly fifty to seventy five of them were this. Those videos of throwers doing hang power cleans with 180 plus that pop up a few times a year. So these like these are, I, I call these the thrower cleans. A lot of people cringe at these, um, but personally, I just don't care. Maybe if you're just a gym hero, it's probably not to have this bad of technique. But you know, to be honest, like this is what they do. This guy Jose Balivan Bolivian uh, is like the the guy who comes to mind. 210. Right? So it's just a heave ho. Uh, you're literally moving the bar from your your pocket, you know, from, from your pocket to your front rack. That really short extension, I'm not entirely sure how much you get out. What I can tell you is it's incredibly good, like incredibly beneficial to develop power um, in your upper back. Two ten again. Look at how high this bar gets. He's not really dropping under. And 
you know, there's also this aspect where he's like star fishing. You can see this, right? Give a little grace here. If the knees start creeping in a lot, like creeping in while the heels are digging out, like that's when it becomes a problem. Um, I like I liken this to that kind of that west side squat where they, they're jamming their knees out to the side, pointing their toes out really wide. It's kind of that weird like sumo squat that they do in the squat suits. So yeah, James Harrison, this dude is a sick O. Let's see here. Oh, is, is he retired now? Yeah, I mean, that would make sense. He's 43 years old as of now. But six foot, 243 pounds. Again, very similar to that running back stature. You know, running back, linebackers, they're just like opposing forms of each other on either side of the line. Yeah, the gray sweat, the gray, you know, sweatsuit compilation. Doing single arm press with bands. I don't know how necessary that is. The pin press, I like seated pin press, but the wibble wobbly bands, I don't know. Pretty standard curls. It's so funny, like his sweatsuit just gets progressive. Like look at, how, <laughs> look at the outside of it. This is super impressive. Reverse grip, floor press, pull-ups with 90 pounds for reps. Again, guys, this is a 243 pound man here. This is not just some light dude doing some, some calisthenics. Back extensions, trunk rotations on the glute ham developer. Pretty solid regimen, like dips with uh, 180 pounds. Holy sh for reps. Yeah, this kind of stuff I don't really dig. I don't know how necessary it is. Seems kind of gimmicky to me, but speed rows with the band here. Yeah, I like it. Dude's getting after it, man. Like, I, I you know, this is, I'm going to pause it real quick. This is one of those things, like, you know, you get into the NFL and all of those years of training so hard as like a young football player. Um, I remember being at Northwestern University as an intern and seeing the football team grind every day before class. So they would get into the weight room at like six in the morning, get their get there by five thirty, get start lifting at six, uh, and then go to class, and then they'd have practice later and and. These guys, they're putting on a ton of muscle at that time. Fast forward to when you get drafted in the NFL, it's like, how, how hard are you really working in the weight room? It's, it's got to be tough, man. So 192 from the floor, like very rare. Do we see full power cleans from the floor, um, especially from throwers? Discus thrower, personal best was 68. Yeah, rarely do you see... Uh, even throwers pull all the way from the floor. Um, I, I wouldn't say rarely, but I would say less common than that hang power clean that we usually see. Okay, Canelo. Canelo, I love this video. I love this video because here, this is the thing about boxers is, you know, they're, I mean, I'm just going to say it like they, they usually have very skinny legs. They have very strong bases compared to their body weight. They need, you need to have a powerful base, but you also need to have a ton of fitness as a boxer. The ability to deliver powerful movements repeatedly over a span of, you know, a half hour is, is really, really tough to do. And you don't have to worry about takedowns. You don't have to worry about kicking or blocking kicks. So, you know, typical strength training of the legs doesn't seem like something that a lot of boxers do. So when I saw Canelo doing this with like really, really solid technique, I mean, look at this squat technique. And to be honest, it looks light enough. It just, it looks like it feels good. It looks like it's just working for him. He feels like he has strong quads and like this dude has the biggest, strongest base of anyone in his weight class. I think the bar is just a little bit high. I, I, even though it's supposed to be high bar, I would move it down just a little bit. But still, like I, I think there's nothing wrong with, you know, deep squatting at, in in anything really. Nick Chubb. Okay, hold on, because uh, I've seen this one before. Nick Chubb, I believe, uh, I'm gonna say running back, and he plays for the Browns. Okay, five eleven, two twenty seven. So yeah, that when I said that's a big. Dude, you know, um, Saquon Barkley, I guess it's kind of right in the wheelhouse. If you're looking at 5'9", 
all the way up to, you know, on the rare side up to like 6'3", um, but the wheelhouse weight for, for, a, for a, a pro running back is usually 100 kilos or over, so 220 pounds. Now remember, guys, Jared Rome just did 192 from the floor, and that is a, a guy who definitely weighs more, a long-time discus thrower, and I can guarantee you practiced these lifts much more than Nick Chubb had. No contact. Easy. This is why this is crazy. Okay, this lift is so far the craziest lift I have seen. We're gonna watch this one more time. So this looks like it's in Georgia's facility. Actually, it could be in like some high school facility while he's pro. But the, this is so crazy. No contact. No hook grip. At least I can't see a hook grip. That's insane. Okay. Right, so right at the knee, I'm sure there's a little bit of rounding here. His his legs are much more straight than they should be. You know, the balance is a little bit off here. But again, this is an incredibly powerful and explosive athlete. Lifting 191, insane. No contact, uh, no hook grip. Like, I can't believe that. Okay, Joe Kovacs. Something really crazy about Joe Kovacs. Um, second place to Ryan Krauser. Um, both American shot throwers, um, absolute legends in the sport. I cannot believe how good American throwing is. There was some meet where the world record was broken, like, I don't know how many times, and, and Joe Kovacs broke it first, and then Ryan Krauser broke it. It was like a crazy meet. Well, maybe one of you throwers can comment it down below. I always forget it. But Joe Kovacs has some of the most insane lifts I have ever seen. Right here, look at this. 395 for four, I believe. Crazy. Ryan Krauser, the man, the myth, the legend. Um, greatest thrower in American history, I believe, right? There's... This is, watching him do this and you forget how much weight that is, because it looks like it's 225 and it's 355. Think about that. I've seen these. These is kind of weird looking, but he's able to get it up to his chin. Basically, he bends down a little bit. Um, you can see how explosive he is. Some front squats should be cake for him. Yeah. I mean, I think the biggest limiting factor here is the front rack for him. You can see it's like barely in his fingertips. I think he's like six seven or something. Ridiculous athlete. All right, Miss Frizzle four plate bench. So uh, a lot of people are saying that this lift is 405 pounds when, you know, Alex has it clearly written down here, 220 kilos, folks. That's what four reds means. So Miss Frizzle's putting up a, a 485 pound bench press with a completely flat, flat back. Look at the range of motion. She, got, she has no arch. She's basically Larson pressing this thing. Harry Ikeen's... Uh, 170 power clean, Great Britain sprinter. All right, that's insane. That is out of this world. That is incredibly technical. Um, I'm for 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 an athlete, nonetheless, for even a weightlifter. Like, and a lot of times, you know, again, we're gonna see the legs go out far, really far. Um, but everywhere that you know. Saquon went wrong and Nick Chubb went wrong. He went right. You can see at the knee, he's actually much closer. His chest is up higher. Um, and his tempo, that that off the, the contact position, position to his catch is incredible. Boom, boom. Like that, look at that. That's a leap. Look at this. We'll pause it one more time. Watch this. He, he's basically in that contact position. He's got a slight bend in the arms, which actually is not that bad. It's actually not that bad of a thing. Uh, you can go ahead and complain all you want right now. Vent if you want. It's really not. He's got tension in his arms and he maintains that through contact so that he can catch this bar. Look at this. Boom, boom. Boom. That is really, really, really impressive. I know I said that the Nick Chubb one was the most impressive thing basically because he lacked the technical knowledge. He didn't have a hook grip. Maybe... Maybe Harry Akeens, I don't know how to say his name, um, had had a hook grip here. I'm not sure. But I think it's close to that same level of, of impressiveness. 
Okay, um, I know that Owen has done videos on these guys. Uh, Owen and, and Fitz at Seek of Strength. I know they have done videos of these guys. Um, all I know is <laughs> there's these pictures of these dudes uh, floating around the internet of like the, the sprint cyclist guys, you know, the guys that go around and they're in that like uh, arena. It's called like a velodrome or something like that. They're sprint cyclists. So they're not going di- long distance. It's pure power. It's pure output. And it's all legs. These dudes have absolute dump truck asses and like explosive quads. So I don't know if this is 250 kilos plus. It's got to be over 200 kilos uh, or in that wheelhouse. But this dude's going to slam dunk on this way. And the depth is there. Like this is perfect squat technique. It's almost like this guy is probably more comfortable back squatting than he is walking. Like, look at how fun this looks for him. He just looks at home. He, just a straight cartoon. <laughs> look at how big his legs are. How do you find pants? That's actually, I can't even, I can't wrap my head around that, what I'm looking at. No-handed back squat. I, I wonder how much weight. Again, it's got to be right around 200 kilos. The dude, you know, this brings him joy like, you know, eating a donut would. This is his lazy Sunday squatting 200 kilos for reps with no hands. Do you get the idea? Like this dude would rather stand while he's sleeping. Or he'd rather sit in an active squat. <laughs> Look at his legs! Oh my god. All right. Uh, Swedish discus thrower Daniel Stahl. I got a lot of requests for this guy. 285 kilos. Dude is tall. A lot of disc throwers, a lot of disc guys are tall. A lot of throwers in general are tall. Like, who am I kidding? Um, Ryan Krauser does the shot. Best in the world. World record holder. Um, and he's 6'7. So this guy's probably in that wheelhouse 6'7, 6'8. He's. I know he's going to have a strong squat, even though his legs look skinny. He's about to blow this up. Yep. I love the intensity. That was fucking awesome. Yeah. Oh my God. All right. That's the entire video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, Be on the lookout on my Instagram for the next little question and we'll do a video on it. See ya.